Welcome back to day 4 of Random Math Stuff. It is possible to build a pentagon out of pentagons, as you saw in the thumbnail, but can you also build a hexagon out of pentagons? Yes, yes you can. Anyway, you can ask this question for any two shapes, and this video is going to be about this question. Before we start solving this problem though, we should start off simple, so first let's consider what will happen if the two shapes are the same. Making a triangle out of triangles is easy, and so is making a quadrilateral out of quadrilaterals. We just did pentagons, so let's give hexagons a shot. After trying some random stuff and finding a solution, which isn't too hard, we've realized that we are not going to be able to extend this solution to higher polygons. Meaning, for heptagons, we're going to need to start over and keep trying random crap. So let's go back to hexagons and try to find a nicer, more symmetric solution. We can take inspiration from the pentagons, place a hexagon in the center, then connect the vertices to the edges. But we're not done, because these are pentagons, not hexagons. We need to add an extra edge somehow. We can do this by simply separating every other connecting line, like this, which will fix the problem. Anyway, I said that this solution could be extended to higher polygons, and it can. Just take whatever polygon you want, draw a smaller copy of it in the middle, and draw a bunch of connecting lines like this. Now just separate the connecting lines until every polygon has the desired number of sides. So the answer to the original question is, yes, you can build any polygon out of smaller versions of itself that have the same number of sides. Okay, halfway through planning this video, I realized that you could just split the hexagon in half and it would work. And you can also do this with every other polygon, by the way, isn't that just great? Whatever, I'm keeping the first half of the video, even though there's probably at least one person who immediately found the solution and has been screaming at me for the past two minutes. Oh, this does give me an idea, though. What if our polygons must be convex? Okay, editing webgo guy here, I think that if the polygons must be convex, then hexagons don't have a solution. In other words, you can make a triangle out of convex triangles, quadrilateral out of convex quadrilaterals, pentagon out of convex pentagons, but anything past that will not work. But I've just been messing around with this question, I haven't really tried to prove anything, so you guys can have fun with this and the generalized version of this problem as well. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can try some other stuff that might help us solve the original problem. Can triangles build any polygon? Yes, they can. This isn't too hard, you just connect up all the vertices. But this is actually really important, because let's say we want to build an octagon out of pentagons. We can split the octagons into triangles first, then merge the triangles together into pentagons. The problem with this, though, is that not every shape will merge properly. For example, if we try making a decagon out of pentagons, this strategy won't work. We'll have a quadrilateral left over. So here's another idea. What if, instead of merging triangles together, we split them apart? So here, we would split each triangle into pentagons, and now we have a very inefficient solution, but it does work on every polygon, not just octagons. So now the path forward is clear. We will prove that you can split a triangle up into any polygon. And since we also know that triangles can form any polygon, we will then have proved our original question. Any polygon can be built from any other polygon type. We could prove the triangle splitting thing with symmetry. But why bother when you can just split the triangle down the middle? Both the left and right polygons have the same number of sides, and you can adjust the middle line to add however many sides you want, thereby forming any polygon you want. So now we're done, and let's test our strategy with an example. Let's make a nonagon using octagons. So first we split the nonagon into triangles, and now we split each triangle down the middle, and we're done. You get the idea. This will always work with any other combination of polygons. Okay, the math part of the video is now done, but I have some other stuff to say if you're interested. So a couple videos ago, I went on this huge rant about my pen tablet breaking, and it took up like half the video. Now the retention graph says that a lot of people were only here for the math, but the comments were mostly positive regarding the rant. The point is, I have a lot of stuff that I could talk about, like the AMC today for high schoolers, but I don't know if you would want to hear that or not. Anyway, good luck on the AMC if you're taking it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.